This section is going to cover all the details of Remote Desktop Services 2019. We'll be joining Larry in this section as he walks us through deploying Remote Desktop Services, both in Azure as well as on-premises. Next, he'll show us the new changes in the remote app functionality and how to work with them. Finally, he'll show us how to publish RDS desktops. We'll be working with Larry to see how to deploy RDS to 2019 in Azure. We're going to learn how to use a template to deploy RDS. Using that template, we'll see where to find the information we need to fill out the template. Once deployed, we'll see how to configure RDS from within Server Manager. Now, here's Larry. Thanks, Rob. For Azure deployment, it makes sense to look at existing templates to see if someone's already done a lot of the work for you. You can find these at azure.microsoft.com, then more, resources, templates. We're looking for RDS deployment, so we'll just put that in the search box. Then we'll go down to the template we want to use. We're assuming you already have Active Directory set up, so we're going to use RDS using Active Directory. There'll also be a link to this template included in the resources of this video. Just click on Deploy, and it will open up inside your Azure portal. You'll need information from your existing AD to fill out the parameters here, and you can find those pretty easily. Let's switch over to the portal dashboard so you can see what's currently set up. As you can see, it's just a basic AD, one virtual machine, virtual network, a few other pieces required. If you click on the virtual machine name, you'll get almost everything you need to fill out the template. You'll see the resource group, the virtual network, and the subnet. The only pieces not listed here are your domain name and admin account information. Hopefully you already know those, but if not, you can always log into the VM by clicking on the connect icon and already being in so you can look that information up. Now, back to the template. Select your resource group and your location, and then fill in your DNS label prefix. Fill in your existing AD domain. And for the next few fields, we can just copy the information from our portal. So we're gonna switch back over there. And if you hover the mouse next to the information, you'll get a click to copy box. So we'll click on that and then go back to the template. And then we can just paste it in here. You notice it fills in both the network and subnet. We only want the network in this case. And we'll do the same for the subnet. And again, remove the unneeded part. And finally is the resource group, which was also in our portal. So we'll go ahead and hover, click, go back there and paste it. Next, we'll fill in our username for the AD. This needs to be an admin name so it can go ahead and add the resources into your network and the password. For the image SKU, you're gonna select whatever version of server you wanna run. And the VM size, if you want to change it from the default, you can. For this demo, there's no reason for that. And then just click on Agree and Purchase. Don't worry, it is free. This is just a generic button name. Once the deployment starts, it's time to take a break. It's going to take 20 or 30 minutes to complete, and we're not going to make you sit through that. So we will fast forward a bit. When it's finished, you'll see a deployment complete message. If you scroll down a little bit, you can see everything that was created for you. There's virtual machines, gateways, network cards, IPs, everything you need to make RDS happy. Now let's log into the broker and take a look at Server Manager so we can see how roles are assigned. Click on the broker, and then if we click on connect, we can RDP into the machine. In Server Manager, we'll want to add all of our servers so we can manage them all in one place. So we'll right click, choose Add, then click on Find so we can view them all. Just select all of them, add them in here. And now that they're all ready to go, we'll click on RDS so we can see what's going on. In the right side, we can see how the various roles are assigned. We've got a gateway, which allows connections which is also the RD Web Access Server, which is what provides a web page for accessing our sessions. There's a session host, which is where our desktops and applications will be hosted. 
And finally, there's a broker, which allows load distribution across multiple servers and also serves as our licensing server, which is where our RDS CALs are managed. And on the left side, we can see that RDS is pretty much ready to go. We can also click on Collections and see that there's even a desktop collection pre-configured for us. All that's left is setting up our licensing and SSL certificates. That's done exactly the same as it is on-prem, which we'll be covering in the next video, so we're not going to repeat it here. So that's it. You've successfully deployed RDS to Azure.